Today I show you how to delete apps on your iPhone. This is the standard way of deleting apps on most iPhones. This is iOS 18.4 on iPhone 16 Pro Max, but this is going to be the standard way of removing apps from your iPhone. And you can do this in multiple ways, but the easiest way is to the easiest way to uninstall apps from your iPhone is to use the jiggle mode and you can start the jiggle mode by long pressing anywhere in the empty space on your home screen. On the, on the first page or the second page anywhere but as soon as the apps start shaking like this then this is the jiggle mode and you can arrange things you can change settings you can make you can make some widgets bigger or smaller but if i want to remove an app if the app is on the home screen directly you can press the minus there to remove it but i wouldn't remove these ones if the app is in a folder you can go to the folder directly for example here i have the chat gpt app and i can press on the minus and it's asking me if i want to remove it from the home screen because you can still keep the app but not have it on the home screen or you can delete the app i choose to delete the app and delete chat gpt this will also delete the app data so if you have any data saved for that app you might want to export it it depends on the app i press delete the app is uninstalled. To go out of the jiggle mode, you press anywhere on the empty screen and now we are out of the jiggle mode and you don't need to uninstall apps. You can also uninstall apps by long pressing on the app and then you get options to, for example, to remove the app here. I wouldn't want to do that, but this is also an option. If you chose to if you chose to remove the app from the home screen and not delete the app, I'm not going to delete Google Keep because I need it, but you can see the apps in the app drawer here. You can see the apps in the app drawer or app library, how it's called. And here actually you will have them grouped by their suggestion with their category type, not by the folders you have, but the categories of the apps. For example, creativity, social productivity, utilities. These are pretty useful here. If you can use this, you can search for apps here. You can also search for apps by swiping down from the middle of the home screen here, for example. And here you can search for apps, messages, anything you might want to find on your iPhone. For example, we have the top hit, YouTube, and then you have YouTube or YouTube Studio. These are the options there. So this is how you can uninstall apps, but you can also just remove them from the home screen, depending on, it depends what you want to do, but I prefer to keep the apps arranged how I want them on the home screen. And when you need space, or if you don't use an app, it's always good to uninstall it, especially if you don't use it. Better not to keep it, you can always install it later, unless there is some data on the app, unless you might need to use the app in the near future, it's better to uninstall it to save space. I do keep the apps that I use even which are not often used. So I don't have to reinstall them. Thanks for watching. This could save you disk space and for some apps, a lot of disk space. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.